Federal investigators are learning more about the man who attacked several shoppers at a St. Cloud Mall on Saturday. We learned today that a 10th person was also hurt in the attack. All of the victims are recovering. People inside Crossroads Center describe a chaotic scene as 22-year-old Dahir Adan approached people and began stabbing them at random. An off-duty police officer shot and killed him. The FBI is looking into the attack as a potential act of terrorism. As a community, we will stand strong and we, will, we are here uh, to make sure that the public safety of everyone that lives in this community uh, is protected. Local Somali and Muslim community members have also condemned the violence. The mall did reopen today. We have team coverage of the attack and the investigation. We want to begin with Esme Murphy in St. Cloud. So Esme, I understand his family actually thought that he was going to the mall to get a new iPhone. Is that right? That is absolutely right, Frank. I can tell you that I spoke with a top prominent community leader who has been working with Dahir Adan's family since this happened Saturday night. He says that the family believed that Adan was headed here to the Crossroads Mall to pick up a pre-ordered iPhone 7 at the T-Mobile store. He went out uh, to get an iPhone. Um, uh, he was very happy, he was joyful, uh, leaving home. Haji Youssef is the founder of the anti-Islamophobia group Unite Cloud. He says that Dahir Adan left the apartment he shared with his father at about 7 p.m. Saturday. He drove to the mall, which is less than half a mile away. While he was at the mall, we don't know what, the family doesn't know what happened. But what they know is between that time he left his home and they knew what he was going to do and going to the mall, uh, in between they don't know what happened. Employees at the T-Mobile store in the mall declined to comment and referred us to national T-Mobile media representatives. To hear Adan's family says he was born in Kenya and came to the U.S. 15 years ago. He was a 2014 graduate of St. Cloud Apollo High School, where he did well enough to earn college credits in some classes. The security firm Securitas issued a statement that Adan had resigned in June of 2016 from his part-time security job with them and that he had been assigned to the St. Cloud company Electrolux Home Products. The family says he was currently working as a security guard at Capital One in downtown St. Cloud and that he was enrolled as a student at St. Cloud State. But St. Cloud State said he had been enrolled there between 2014 and the spring of 2016, but that he was not currently enrolled. Mayor Dave Kleiss says he has seen the security footage that he says shows Adan's final moments. He had identified himself as a police officer. He made a command that the suspect went down uh, and then immediately came forward, lunged at him with a knife. Uh, there, there must have been more than 20 feet, but it, it, he, he covered it in a matter of a second. Uh, and then uh, the officer fired. And Mayor Kleiss went on to say that the officer actually fired repeatedly because the suspect got up three times after being shot and kept lunging at the officer. Finally, a shot came and the suspect went down. I do want to tell you that we have not yet heard back from T-Mobile's National Media Relations Department. And also, I, I want to let you know that Capital One here has been going through their records, and so far they have not been able to confirm that Tahir Adan did in fact work as a part-time security guard at their facility, which is in downtown St. Cloud. Uh, Esme, based on that iPhone conversation, I, I assume the family's cooperating with, to some degree with authorities? Yes, Haji Yosef told me that the family is actually working with law enforcement and that they have actually reviewed video from inside the mall that shows uh, Dahir Hassan Adan before the stabbings began. All right, Esme Murphy, live in St. Cloud, thank you.